What is up, everybody? It's July 31st in Big Bear Lake, California. Or actually, Big Bear City. Watch out, chipmunk. There he went. We're getting some really good loud thunder right now, so I know that obviously there's some lightning in the area. I mean, it's loud. It's rumbling right above us, so I'm going to try and get out of here. Out of this tree-infested area and go find the spot where we can check it out for a minute and see what's going on. But yeah, I was kind of getting a little sleepy and uh, some thunder really scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so, got me up. So I think we're heading towards the towards the lightning. I really hope so. This is the direction it sounded like it was coming from. Yeah, I think we're right underneath it. So I'll roll down the windows just so we can listen and listen good. So yeah, this is supposed to be another day of good storms. I might just put this with the later video that I'm probably gonna end up making. Yeah, it's pretty dark behind us. So we're gonna go up to like Sugarloaf. Why not get that view from up there? I think that'll be nice up on Maple. Seriously, these are some large and then charged clouds. right behind us that's that's what I'm concerned about in a good way alrighty then all this stuff over here so I think we're gonna you'll see some lightning coming from there because that's where I'm definitely hearing the thunder coming from so. I know I make a big deal of this type of weather but it is a big deal for, for me I love it rotation up there for some reason but I, I I know there's not but it just does right there that and it, it looks like that's like moving and the bottom left part of it looks like it's like rotating around that's really odd when I'm looking through the camera I can't really tell but when I'm just a, just a dead eye on it it looks pretty uh it looks like it's moving Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm so glad we get these storms. This has been a really good season. 
this has been probably one of the much better seasons than I've, or that I've had since I've lived up here. And I've been up here since May 1st, 2015. But look at that. Look at what we're driving into now. Just keep your eyes straight ahead, you guys. You've got, there's, there's going to be, there's got to be lightning coming up. There's got to be. I just saw some lightning out of the corner of my eye. Wow, it is pouring up here straight ahead. It is really pouring. There's a big downpour right here. Okay, so we're going to focus right there. That's where I think we might see some, some good lightning. We're going to park in this white zone here. That's where I, I think we're going to see the lightning. Like right, right by that, right beyond that telephone pole. Oh, I mean, it looks really epic over here. It looks really, really nice. I mean, look, so that's the storm right there. Not much. But this is it. We're going to get something out of this. I know we are. There's going to be some sort of lightning bolt. Come on. We'll give it another minute. And if it actually lives up to it in the next minute, I will keep this video and we will upload it. I just don't get it. I heard a bunch of thunder like one after the other, so I ran outside, started getting this stuff together. And that does look so beautiful though, doesn't it? That is so beautiful. Come on. Get some lightning. Okay, so we're not getting any lightning. I know as soon as I turn off the camera, you guys know we'll get like a few massive lightning bolts. That's the way it always works. So anyway. Love you guys. I'm gonna make more videos as the day goes on, so I'll just attach them together just so there's some perspective. So right now, this whole video is from 10.37 a.m. Love you guys. July 31st, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California, or Sugarloaf, California. Big Bear City, California. Let's get one more look out here. One more look. Oh, it's so pretty. And you can see where it's really raining hard right there. Really coming down. Look at that. All right, guys. Love you guys. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is a continuation from the video I did earlier. Right now, it's 11 o'clock, just about on the dot in the morning on July 31st, 2022. So, I noticed up in Moon Ridge area, it looked like kind of how Sugarloaf did. So, we're going to go check out Upper Moon Ridge real quick um, and see if we can just, since we'll have our eye on the storm the whole time, hopefully we'll catch some lightning while we're driving there. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's see here. So this is where we are looking, straight ahead right there. Obviously, because that's where I'm pointing the camera. <laughs> but what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited about the potential for today and the storms. Right now, I'm actually also headed up to Upper Moon Ridge to help my wife out. It's so cool because what she does, I can go hang out if I wanted to, if I'm like, if I'm super, uh, if, 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 if my day is slow for me, if my business is slow that day, I can go hang out on and off. That's really cool. Very, very cool. And my, my job permits me to do that as well. If she didn't have work, because she just started working again. So when she wasn't working, she was, she was with me all the time. 
all the time. Even on all the all the other most recent videos, but she was just way too ang like like nervous. But we are gonna introduce her to, to you guys real soon. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. So there's Bear Mountain straight ahead, or straight ahead now, where it's kind of engulfing clouds. Here's the zoo. Very cool. I, it almost looked like I saw lightning, but I, 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 I didn't. But it's going to be right there if there is going to be any right here. Wow, I'm not making any sense. I just missed my turn. Such a dummy. So yeah, so right now I'm going to, since she's up here in Upper Moon Ridge, I thought, you know what, I'll just drive up here and record because it was looking nasty up here, so. But we kind of missed our turn, so we're just gonna turn back. We're on Plymouth Road right now. And we're gonna turn on to Tehama. Yes, I'm correct about that, man. I'm getting really good with these streets. We're gonna turn right on, um, oh my gosh, what is it? What is it, turn right on, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? No, I'm not, it's where Moon Ridge like, kinda ends at, at, at that curve. It's like silver tip, not silver tip, I don't know. Maybe it is silver tip. Sunset, it, no, it's, it's sunset. I saw the sign, so I cheated. But we are gonna be turning on silver tip which is right here. And then turning again on, oh my gosh, why can't I remember that? Never mind, who cares? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we are getting a lot of really needed wet weather. Um, it's not huge downpours most of the time, but sometimes we're getting some really, really good heavy rains. And those are good for uh, overwhelming the ground and and, and allowing more water to seep into the lake instead of seeping into the ground. So anyway, we're gonna turn here on Villa Grove and then on Boot, or Booth. Or, no, what, not Booth, this first street right here, I can't remember what it's called. Butte. <laughs> Butte. You're a beaut. And thank you guys again, man. You guys have been so wonderful. All your comments are so beautiful just so loving I'm just I'm, I'm truly blown away I get a lot of love from you guys I get so much love from you guys it's super overwhelming in such a good way and thank you guys like from the bottom of my heart always thank you squatters and the old, the old like I don't want them to freeze but I don't want them breaking the law and breaking into someone's house who worked really really hard to earn that extra money to have a vacation spot for them and their family like I, I, I you know I just wish we could more for some of these these folks who are really really cold and just can't can't do anything about it So we're in Upper Moon Ridge now. This is not the most fun drive if you're not experienced driving in the snow in the wintertime. Me, I love it. You guys see me taking this road all the time. Because a lot of times there will be significantly more snow up here than there will be just right down at the bottom of Moon Ridge at my house. I live in like the lowest part of Moon Ridge, lower Moon Ridge.
Okay, we're in Upper Moon Ridge and it is like, there's some killer lightning out here. I shouldn't actually say that while I'm standing outside, but we're gonna be next to the car. Underneath the tree a little bit. See if we can see the lightning because the thunder is epic right now. see any freaking, can't see it look at how dark it is out there this is new this or not noon but a little early this is crazy this is gnarly okay seriously like i've just i've, I've been hearing so much so i'm just gonna stay out here for a few minutes Get in the car. This is a little bit dangerous. Okay. Hang on, guys. Seriously, I think this this could be good. So remember, this is just part of the day. I'm, I, I'm just gonna do some videos at different times of the day and I'm gonna patch them all together and post it later today. But yeah, you can't see anything across the valley. That's how thick this storm is. I haven't seen anything like this. see any of the lightning I can hear the thunder all over the place here comes the rain hang on hang on guys I'm switching seats I just need to put the key in so I can roll down the window a little bit we just got an emergency flash flood warning for this area right here literally this area right here it literally just, it just started to really come down hard This is amazing. There's just so much going on over here. Remember guys, we're way up in the hills here. So like, usually you can see all the hills and mountains on the other side here, no problem. You can't see anything. This is like our winter storms. Lightning is really right above us, so I'm gonna stay right here. That was intense. I can't believe I just missed that one. It was so bright in the sky, I couldn't believe it. It was the first lightning bolt we saw today, but I couldn't even see it directly. I saw it out of my <laughs> peripheral vision. And I told my friend here, like, it's gonna be so loud, and it was. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was, did you guys see that? It was straight ahead, right where I'm pointing the camera. That was, that was intense. Baby, I, 
friendly. I have, <laughs> I have to stand right here because this is a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, this is insane. This is insane. Come on, lightning. It's right above us, friend. <laughs> Wow. Seriously, you guys, check this out. This is just amazing. I hope there's some more. There should be. You can hear, you hear the thunder, but we want some more lightning bolts from this cloud. Didn't I tell you it was going to get super loud? Oh. Are you guys hearing this? I hope it's coming through this camera because this is as intense as I've seen it since I've lived here. I'm just really afraid to go out from under this. So we're just going to stay posted up right here for a minute. I know this isn't the best view, you guys, but it'll give you a sense of uh, how close the lightning bolts really are when you hear how quick the thunder comes afterwards. Come on. Let's get another good one in here. You know what I didn't think about? This background music is gonna demonetize my video. That's okay. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Wow. Come on, just, just one more good lightning bolt and then I will go back inside, I promise. Please, just one more lightning bolt. <laughs> no way. Holy moly. You gotta come back and do it again. My friend here just predicted that lightning strike. She is the hottest friend I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, my ears just got affected by that one. Ooh. All right, so that one didn't count. So we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna wait for one more. Yeah, that was weird. I was like, I, I was reaching for her hand for it, for just like, uh, for good luck and prayer at the same time. And she said, oh, here it comes. And then the lightning, oh, there it is right there, right above us. That's gonna be crazy. You guys see that? Oh, that was insane. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. You guys see that? It went across the whole sky. That was awesome. I don't wanna leave this video right now. This is just, this is the best we've had, you guys. I can't believe it. And I get to experience it with my best friend in the world. It's pretty cool. She probably doesn't care too much. Actually, I know she does. She's so supportive of everything I do. And she actually enjoys 
certain types of weather. Not so much the snow anymore, <laughs> which you guys know is my favorite part. But this last season or two, I got really like used to like, uh, well, I was getting ready for summertime. Let's put it that way. I was getting a little bit tired of the cold weather. And now I'm a little bit looking forward to wintertime. Not as much as usual, but for the videos and to drive around and just have fun with you guys. And then have my wife with me too. It's, it's gonna be awesome. I am finally complete. All right, so I know I, I keep on lying about the length. I'm gonna wait here with these lightning bolts, but we're gonna do it again. One more. Hey friend, wife, when's the next lightning bolt going to hit? <laughs> okay. Two, one, five, one. That was pretty, that was close to 2.5 seconds, baby. <laughs> Wow, you guys, this is so cool. Like, this is so cool. I'm gonna step outside a little bit further, like an idiot. I mean, I'm really, I shouldn't be standing here. I really shouldn't be. But, it's just too awe-inspiring, you guys, especially when the lightning is right above you. Just to see the power of Mother Nature and just, just how little and tiny and just weak we are compared to the forces that be. It's amazing. There's so much, so much greater than ourselves out there. It's, it's, it's just unbelievable. All created by God. Absolutely incredible. Oh, our chickens... Uh, I saw my chicken lay an egg today. It was, it was really, really a, a cool moment. Yes, you guys, I have four chickens now. I, I married into a family with chickens. <laughs> and you know what? They are the most fun, just hilarious little animals ever. And so cute. And one of them lets my wife hold her and, and pet her all the time. It's, it's super, super adorable. But today I got to see one actually lay an egg. It was really, really cool. It was just random timing that I showed up, but. All right, so the rain's picking up, which means this storm's probably gonna pick up a bit. Are you sure you wanna leave right now? Yeah? Okay. Because, because, because this is gonna be good here. You see how the rain's picking up now? So this storm's getting heavier and heavier now. And I'm hoping yeah, it's going to really start falling. So you got a flash flood warning for this area in particular, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, it, it, it was a major alarm. It is coming down out here. Holy moly. Look at this. Guys, we're capturing it from the start of that big. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! I am absolutely in weather heaven right now. This is this is this is so unbelievable. This just makes my this makes my day even that much better. Getting to spend time with my wife during the day it doesn't get better than that. So that was the like this is just icing on that cake for sure. Unbelievable. 
I get so absolutely just, I don't know. It's just so warming for my heart. Intense weather for some reason. I, I, I've never understood it, but I enjoy it. Come on, lightning. Come on, straight ahead. Let's do this. Let's do this. Look at this patio, this place is awesome. This is an Air, Airbnb. I did do a recording of the hotel that she and I stayed at just last week, so I will get that footage up to you guys soon so you know what to expect when you go stay there. I'll just tell you ahead of time, the room was okay. Um, one of the beds was actually a Tempur-Pedic bed. It was super comfortable, but the view was just so worth every time walking back into that room. It was, it was really nice. So I think you guys will like it for that reason. My friend worked there coincidentally, and so he gave us the room for 80 bucks a night. So I, so I was super stoked. It's, it's, it's as close to the lake as you can get, for the most part, when it comes to lodging. So yeah, it's, it's nice. Lakefront Lodge. As I said, it's just kind of your basic, like as basic as it gets room. But that's okay. You're, you're here for the views for the beauty, the topography. It smells so good out here right now. Wow, I'm just so, so stoked about this. Yeah, what a patio. I love this patio. This is huge. What a great patio. More thunder. Look at these sheets of water coming off the house right now. So as I told you guys, we were issued a flash flood warning, which means that the conditions are favorable and that it's happening or is going to happen. So the warning means that you're screwed, that it's definitely gonna happen. Even though you guys see all these winter storm warnings that I post for our winter storms, 90% of them never happen. When the warning is supposed to mean that it's imminent. When they say like a winter storm watch, it means that conditions could become favorable for a winter storm. There's some lightning. I couldn't see it straight, but I, I, I think I saw it in my periphery. Maybe not. Man. This is just so relaxing. starting to get heavier. Wow. It doesn't take many of these storms, believe it or not, you guys, to fill up the lake. It's the flash flooding type of waters that'll, out, that'll fill our lake up quickly. If we have like 12 storms of this like an inch or two each real quick. 
we'd probably be good on the lake. Storms like this, if we got a bunch of thunderstorms like this, that lake would be full by the end of the summer. Because in these like 15 minute storms, you guys, we're getting as much rain as we do in like a, a whole winter storm. And an inch of rain up here usually translates to a foot of snow. I don't know if this will let up. I might have to just take the bag. One more bag? Oh. So we can hang for like five minutes? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. I don't think they would want a beautiful woman to run outside in the rain like that. With your beauty, maybe. And you are wearing a white tank top. <laughs> I'm a very lucky man, you guys. Very lucky man. This one, she takes such good care of me. As I said, you guys, she is super shy, so I will introduce you guys to her soon. I'm very fortunate that she's even making her voice apparent in, it, in, in this video. So <clears throat> I'm very proud of her <clears throat> for getting out of her comfort zone. Very proud of her because I know how hard it is. All right, you guys, I'm going to shut it off for a little bit. I know as soon as I do that, we're going to get a bunch of really loud clasps of thunder, but oh well. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be making a video, more videos later this afternoon when we get more weather, and then I'll patch all these together. Peace. So we're in Upper Moon Ridge. We're leaving Upper Moon Ridge, but I just wanted you guys to see what the weather's like up here. We're going to drive over to Big Bear City. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of some really good stormage. That was intense. I'm glad I came up here seeing where the storm was coming. That was perfect. Finally, I got it right. But yeah, for the last like 15 minutes, I was just standing outside of this house, recording under the front door's awning. And we caught some really good lightning bolts right in front of us and the thunder hit right away and it was so loud. It was awesome. said I mean these ones were those cracking ones like a whip right above your head
yeah, so this drive, we're still getting good rain. I'm, uh, I'm really happy to see that. This is a, a very big storm. It's, it's, it's spread over a, a large area, which is good because we need as much of this weather as possible. Now this car right in front of us is like the exact same car as mine. Exactly. Got another flash flood warning issue. And I love severe weather. I love it. It's like something so different and it just feels so good. Add some spice to my life. city coming down like a champ crossing sign isn't that cool I like that oh yeah look at these puddles decided to do a lot more recording today. So this is July 31st, 2022, the Big Bear area of Southern California, San Bernardino National Forest in the county of San Bernardino. You guys know San Bernardino County is the biggest county in the country? At least that's what I avoid.
love you guys. I'll hit, I'll do some more videos soon, and I'll patch them all together. Very cool, very cool. This is awesome. Okay, so we got some blue skies, but to the left, we're hearing huge rumbles of thunder. So we are going left. So this is Big Red Boulevard. We're right here in front of Circle K, and we're just gonna drive into the storm, back into Moon Ridge. This is another storm that's coming through right now. And it's two o'clock p.m. As I said, I'm patching all this stuff together. That huge storm we had earlier had to have been maybe like 12, 15, 12, 30-ish. Forgot to tell you guys the time. I totally, totally forgot to tell you guys the time. I hear people's generators going because we just lost power up here. And it's got to be because of these storms. I don't see any lights on any any of these places right now. That's where I'm expecting some big lightning over there. We'll be facing that direction in about 30 seconds. Right now we're back on Sugarloaf Boulevard cutting through Big Bear City to head back to a street called Division Road, which will take you the back way into Moon Ridge. Okay, well now we're on Division Road. I kind of pulled over for a second. This is really nasty in front of us. This, we could get some good stuff out of this right here. I mean, this is really dark. You, you can get the contrast by looking over here at the blue, and then just slowly going over here to just darkness. Hey everybody, Charlie Murphy, darkness. What the five fingers say to the face? Slap! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we need to get through here so we can get to this storm before it heads out. So we're, this is like the front of it right here, I think. I think it's, it's, it's coming through over here. So look, this is the end of the storm right there. So everything that you see right here, this is this one storm that's causing some ruckus right here. It's not even a huge, huge amount of clouds. I bet from at the bottom of the of the mountain when you guys were looking out here from Orange County, I bet it doesn't look like too giant of a cloud over here. Or maybe it does. <laughs> maybe it does. I don't freaking know. that one rumble 
So as I said, we're going to keep on doing a little bit of posting in a little bit, and we'll patch all the videos together. But the one, like I said earlier, where I'm standing outside and it starts to really rain heavy, that's when we got some lightning strikes right in front of our face, and it was one of the loudest things I have ever witnessed. Living in Big Bear, it was insane. Absolutely insane. It's so loud, you guys. I love stuff like that. Look how beautiful the sky looks. Man, it's so beautiful. And then we make the turn and it starts to get darker and darker until you see the, the main part of the storm, which is right here. This is, this is amazing. Look at that. you guys a little bit thanks for hanging out today i appreciate you guys i hope you enjoy the video peace all right what's up you guys it is three o'clock p.m in big bear this is what it's looking like in uh driving down maple from sugarloaf if you look out that direction towards the desert it's nasty out there this way has cleared up a bit but we still got more to come so that's why i haven't uploaded anything yet today but yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna do a short little clip right here just so you guys can see what's going on here. But yeah, over here to the right, it is pretty nasty. Right beyond these houses here. See you guys in a little bit.